That's Chris, we're talking about what we believe and uh, you and I have known each other a long time. So I've, I've known you longer than just the season that you've been a part of the team at Calvary. Tell us a little bit about your previous life. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cryptic. It, it doesn't does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, the, that was the well, intention. I, I, I'm a chemical engineer. Well, at least that's what I trained to be. Yes, I don't know if yes. I really am. And I worked in the oil business, oil refining business for 30 something years. Yeah. And so, you know, if, if you work anywhere that long, you're going to see all kinds of you stuff. You probably have some right? stories. Yeah. 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 You know, I can, I can think of one time where uh, uh, it was one of those times where companies are looking to save money, you know, and we, we had this chemical facility somewhere else. And uh, they, they were spending a lot of money to get rid of a little bitty waste stream that they had. Huh. But it was costing them a lot of money. And, they, and so they thought, well, let's put it in the feedstock to Toledo Refining. And it, 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 it's going to be so dilute, it won't matter. You know, it's just a little drop in the bucket. Oh, okay. Well, what happened really, though, <laughs> was that's kept getting added to our our oil that was coming in huh. for us to process. And so over time, we started seeing all kinds of problems start showing up that were different, different problems, just odd things happening and stuff showing up where it shouldn't show up and, you know, things not working right. And so uh, we had to like figure all this out. And pretty soon we discovered this was happening. Huh. And and so then, you know, traced it back and we we finally uh, got them to stop yeah, doing that. Yeah. And, and the, uh, magically the problem went away. And, uh, and, but, but, you know, it reminds me, um, uh, I love telling all refining stories because there's always, there's always an application. There's a lesson, there's there a somewhere. lesson yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, it reminds me though, of the topic we're going to talk about this week. We're going to talk about this thing called sin that the Bible talks about. And, and sin kind of for you and I as human beings has come in and contaminated us and kind of messed everything up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, kind of one of the big differences, we'll talk about this in the next time we get together, is the, the problem with this is we can't solve it mm -hmm. on our own. We need some help. And so we're going to unpack this week this thing we call sin. You know, we're, we're doing these videos in part because of the class you're teaching on Wednesday nights about what we believe, but also as a tool that'll, that'll last for a long time about what we call our theology as a church, our fundamental beliefs. And, yeah. and one of those things is what we're going to call the sin problem, right? That there is this challenge of sin. It's interesting because we've talked about how we believe in God's word and God's word shapes what we believe about God and what we believe about Jesus. But then like any good story, here's the plot twist, right? Here's the conflict. It's the sin problem. Here's what we believe. Adam and Eve were originally created good and upright as God said in Genesis 1, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. However, by choosing to disobey God's command, they fell and thereby experienced not only physical death, but also spiritual death, which is separation from God. Romans 5, 12 says it this way, when Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. Like Adam's sin, triggered uh like you were talking about something that doesn't belong in the flow right and over time clogs things up and we live in a broken world and so when we look at disease when we look at sickness when we look at war when we look at death when we look at the the conflict even that we face right oftentimes we say people are basically good but we live in a world where it's filled with evil because it's a broken and fallen world that's not how god created it but through sin, the problem of sin, that's, that's what has happened. So it's why there's pain. There's why that's destruction in our life. Here's the good news. Jesus came to change that. We have to acknowledge first, though, that there is a sin problem. So how, how does that help me today, Pastor Chris? Well, I, I think it helps explain what's going on around our world. Sometimes it's, it's troubling to figure out why is there so much evil? Why is there sickness? But the Bible helps us with that. It mm -hmm. says this is why. And, and what helps me too is to remember that God is ultimately in control. He understands what's happening. And in fact, he has a plan to deal with this and he wants us to be a part of it. And so when we commit our life to Jesus, we can look forward to a time when there will be no more 
problems like this. There will be no more death. I'll take it. <laughs> no more yeah. sickness. And, and I think we're all looking forward to that by trusting in Jesus. And so maybe, maybe there's bad things going on around you today, or maybe you've had a bad experience, or maybe somebody's done something to you today even. Um, can I encourage you that, that unfortunately that's the sin-filled world we live in, but that God understands and that he has a plan for your life in this sinful world, and he wants to make it right. And so put your trust in him, knowing that he's in control, and he's gonna lead you in the path that he wants you to walk in.